Miss Alamama here. Last night I made paya or pie and I had them for breakfast this morning. Let's make it. I'll post the ingredients on the screen. For this recipe, it's really important that you use freshly sliced garlic. Fry the garlic, fry the onion, add all the spices, and there's only four spices. Salt, red chili powder, Kashmiri chili powder. You can omit if you like, you don't have to use it, and turmeric. That's it, no cumin, no coriander powder. This is the most basic masala in Punjabi cooking. And for this recipe, that's all you need. Next, let's talk about the paya. I'm using cow payas. You can find them at the butcher. Sometimes they look yellow, sometimes they look white. I buy the white ones. So much collagen, so much nutrition in these bones. And on top of everything else, they taste so good. I buy these ones because they're all cleaned up for me. Usually at the butcher, you'll see one large piece and you just ask them to cut it into smaller discs for you. Next, I'm going to wash these and I'm going to place them in the masala. And you're going to take each piece and you're going to fry one minute each side, turning it over and then continue doing that with the rest of the pieces until you have coated all the pieces with the masala. Please note that you can only put in as much as your Instapot or your pressure cooker allows. And I cooked these with five cups of water. It took one hour or 60 minutes under pressure to cook them to the consistency that I like. You can cook them on stovetop. It'll take about four to five hours. You can continue cooking them in here, but I'm going to transfer them to a pot over the stove. And all I'm doing is reducing the water a little bit. And that's it, your dish is done. You're just going to finish off with a little garam masala, some cilantro, hara dhania. And at this point, you can remove the meat from the bone and discard the bones. Some people put meat um, in their paya. I don't, I like it just like this. Make it today and have it tomorrow 